Greetings to people who really like this, the accordion. I'm having a little trouble playing today, so please bear with me. The song I'm presenting today is I Won't Send Roses. This is a beautiful song. There's a version by Michael Feinstein, which is excellent. And there's also a version on YouTube sung by Robert Preston, which is just beautiful also. But it's a beautiful song, and it's basically two verses. Here's verse number one, if you can see that. And then there's verse number two, which is just slightly different. Verse number two. And instead of taking forever to, to show you the chords in super detail, I'll just show you my list of formal chord names and the buttons used to create those chords, okay? Now, if you've seen my previous videos, you already know how to make these chords, but here's a refresher, here's a reminder. Here's your different chords and the buttons used to create those chords. I played these chords many times over the years. And um, here's your dominant seven chords. And I've showed you how I play them with pinky and uh, thumb or index and thumb. But that is the list of chords and the actual buttons used to play those chords. I've shown you this many times. You should already be familiar with a lot of these. Okay. Now, I present this song because this song, I Won't Send Roses, when combined with played one after another with Fly Me to the Moon, okay, makes a really nice melody. Makes a really nice melody. And I have uh, written these out, both of these, in the key of E flat, okay? They're both in the key of E flat major. And Fly Me to the Moon starts out with a C minor 7, but it's in the key of E flat, okay? I already presented that song. And this song is in the key of E flat and starts on E flat, okay? So let's let's go over the chords on the left hand. And I'll show you what I'm what I'm playing, the buttons I use. E flat major, F minor seven, G minor seven, F minor seven, E flat major. F minor 7, G minor 7, C7, remember that? F minor 7, G7, C minor 7, F dominant 7, F minor 7, B flat dominant 7, in regular position. Then the second verse, slightly different. E flat major, F minor 7, G minor 7, then the G minor 7 with the diminished 5, A flat major, G minor 7 with the diminished 5, C minor 7 with the diminished 5, F dominant 7, B flat minor for three beats, and then 
A flat, then G dominant seven, C minor, F minor seven with a diminished five, E flat major, then the E flat major chord button with the C counter bass, F minor seven, B flat dominant seven, E flat major. Now, when you finish your second verse on your E flat major, okay, and you're getting ready to go back to repeat verse one, what you can do is, when you finish that second verse, when you go back to verse one, if you want to, instead of doing this chord progression, okay, you can do this alternate chord progression, which is simply two chords, E flat major nine and A flat major nine. And here's how you play the, hold on a second. I'm a little trouble breathing today. Here's how you play the E flat major nine. It's the E flat and B flat chord buttons with the E flat bass button. And the A flat major nine is the A flat and E flat chord buttons with the A flat bass button. And that goes like this. Here's the E flat major nine. And you add the B flat chord button. And the A flat major nine is the A flat major. And you add the E flat major chord button. Very sweet. These are sweet chords. That's very sweet, very beautiful. So you can play I Won't Send Roses, and you can move into Fly Me to the Moon. It makes a nice melody. You, you could play it like this just as an example, because I, I, I don't practice. That's the ending of I Won't Send Roses, okay? And you, you're going to go into Fly Me to the Moon. take off and go into fly me to the moon that's just a, just an example of um, what you could do if you wanted to so here again are the chords the formal chord names and the buttons actually used to make those chords I just sh showed you them let's run through it one last time slowly this is a beautiful song. This is, I think, one of the prettiest songs ever. Okay. Then the second slightly different, just a little bit. Very, very pretty song. I hope that gives you enough information to play it. I don't want to go on and on forever. So, first one with the alternate chords. All right, first two. And try it, see if you like it. It is a beautiful song. And uh, thanks for being patient again. And Hope to see you soon. Good night.